This is Avisavela, a small urban town located in the southwestern edge of Sri Lanka. 14 kilometers away from the town is located the rural village of Daranyagala. With a population of around 500 families, 87% of the individuals of a working age do not have a stable source of income. Money usually comes from tea rubber and other day jobs. Without Borders was founded with the core main principle of finding grassroots solutions to problems faced by communities such as mine. And when it came to my village, two of the main problems that my team identified was the lack of employment and secondly, the lack of quality educational facilities. And what we did was we initiated a four-step solution to tackle the problems that we saw in the area. The learning facility is located in the village hall. The centre assists over 200 students from diverse backgrounds. Our team is made up of a set of committed and driven volunteers who brave the distance and time every Sunday for the project. The kids are taught English and communication skills according to an innovative activity-based syllabus created by the team themselves, with the main aim of equipping them with the soft skills needed to increase their employability. The kids also go through an assessment process that helps us identify their capacity and difficulties helping us serve them better. At the end of the day, our main aim is to ensure that each and every student is ready for the job market as we connect them with opportunities beyond their community, bridging the information gap. Once a month, the kids go through a motivational and capacity building session. The parents too join us during these workshops. These children dream big, but what we are trying to instill is a drive and belief towards achieving them. The team maintains a good working relationship with the community. Their ideas and feedback are highly valued and listened to. How is the process made sustainable? Interested adults, including parents, teachers, school leavers and unemployed graduates are trained as English teachers and subsequently hired after their training period for a monthly allowance at the learning facility thus creating both knowledge and employment opportunities. Hi, I'm Saki and uh, I think I'm very really fortunate enough to uh, join the Without Borders because uh, this is mainly to help the children to gain better lives and also to help them with their education and how to collaborate and coexist with others in the society. So we are bridging the gap uh, between the children from the cities and also the children from the villages because we should rise as one. The second aspect of the project is a social entrepreneurship scheme that is based on the concept of Vaukas, which means women at work and children in school. The women from the area are given the needed technical assistance, the entrepreneurial skills and the resources to start their own home industries. The training occurs on Sundays while the children are with us at the learning facility which helps them take a break from the childcare commitments. Our first product line by the name of Light Up Igniting Hope is underway with a batch of 15 ladies who will receive 80% of the profits for each customised piece made by them, while the project will receive 20% of the profits that are made. The product line comprises of Akari lanterns, lampshades and candle covers. The future of this village belongs to big dreamers like this. I want to be a doctor. And that's the basic idea of why without borders is all about.